hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore series. How is everybody doing? I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today, oh man, I got a good idea. I got a plan. Let me tell you what's happening. So last episode I started doing some villager trades and I noticed something. Uh, the best way to get emeralds is um, to sell crops. The farmers but this little crop field right here these are the little pods we got right here they're not gonna do us justice we need something a little bit more op so for right now uh let me grab these i should make a beetroot pod huh we might set that up and let's just replant these potatoes really quick i gotta get some carrots too i haven't found one carrot yet grow my pretties grow 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 so I'm thinking about making a super simple potato farm. That's right, my boy Logical Geek Boy came up with a really cool and simple plan. So the plan is make an OP potato farm. That's right, and we're gonna make all the potatoes. It's gonna be so easy, we're gonna be using villagers for this too. So I'm gonna be heading over to Sanctuary, our beautiful and amazing town right across this awesome watchtower that we built on the last episode and we're gonna be doing that over there and i got a good idea i want to make almost like a little bit of a greenhouse for that and it's gonna be so cool we're gonna be swimming in emeralds so really quick let's go ahead and knock this thing out of here so we did the enchanting watchtower on the last episode and i'm gonna just put this right here why not crop greenhouse that's right so yeah um we got all these that we still had to get to but you know what i'm skipping for this one because i need emeralds and you know what's awesome about emeralds the more emeralds we get the more we could do villager trades the more villager trades we could do the more awesome books we're gonna get because i'm thinking about getting all my gear completely op and the best way to do that is with villager trades that's right <laughs> so awesome since we don't have a real awesome source of xp yet uh, the enchanting uh, tower that we built on the last episode could do really good stuff, but we need a lot of levels, and we don't have a way to get levels yet. Uh, so yeah, let's um, let's do it with villagers. Wait, why am I going here by myself? I got a horse, Brownie. I'm coming, my friend. Oh, and a big old thank you to all you guys for all the support on this series. You guys seem to be having a lot of fun in here, and I'm having so much fun, and I'm so inspired to record here on the hardcore world. But thank you all so much. For the support you guys are legends look at this oh boy right here brownie get on out here we're gonna take a little trip i almost forgot about you but it's okay don't worry about it let's head on down to sanctuary i gotta see if i can uh pick out a spot for this greenhouse oh and i asked you guys last episode if you'll be down for some live streams here in this world and it was a uh it was a big yes <laughs> so we're gonna see if i can set some stuff up i'm thinking weekends are probably a fun time to do it uh maybe end of the week kind of something like that we'll see i'm gonna see whenever i have enough time uh, to do it uh since i'm recording so many videos and i really want to get those out here for you guys as well on top of streaming so I'll, I'll see if anything we'll set up like a mini schedule or something but i'll let you guys know specifically just follow me on twitter and uh, twitch and discord just so you guys get notified whenever i do go live and all that stuff but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun uh stream are coming i promise uh but what am i gonna where am i gonna put this should we just transform one of these houses into a greenhouse i don't even know if i really want to start knocking one of them down already uh we could do this one here i've been wanting to transform this guy i'm gonna have to get rid of this ugly old tree we can get rid of this thing and transform it uh into a greenhouse i'm gonna need a uh two nine by nine pods with a center section that has like a little five by five so it's gonna be pretty big so i'm gonna have to pretty much knock this whole thing down and expand it uh or we could just do it somewhere else i don't know let, let me figure this out <laughs> hold on a second brownie go over here and hang out with your cousin but first i gotta get rid of this tree i can't concentrate looking at this ugly old thing plus i need oak anyways yeah i think this is gonna be the perfect spot i'm gonna just knock this ugly old thing down it's in the way and i can use the material i might get rid of this mini library too uh don't tell the librarian though he might be mad but yeah yeah this is coming down excuse me i'm trying to knock down a build over here wow close the door you have this whole thing open Ugh. stupid nitwits um your library's moved sir i put it inside that room over there um i think you might be a little bit mad uh i know you like this place it was nice and little you know what that place is bigger and guess what i'm gonna build you a huge library coming up i promise okay don't get mad it's an ugly little spot too don't you worry Plus, I'm going to replace it with a bunch of villagers that sell us crops. Those crops are going to give us emeralds. Those emeralds are going to go right into your pocket. So don't be mad. You're giving me a stink face. I see your stink face. What are you doing? You want to go down there? You want to go with me? You don't want to be cool if Minecraft had companions. He's like, nope, I ain't going down there. And so your idea is stupid. But that'd be kind of cool, right? Little Minecraft companions. You get a villager, you pay him something, you know, some emeralds or something. And they kind of follow you around and help you out, attack things and stuff. Oh, man. 
kind of curious what's down there. Do we have any torches? Huh. Alright, I'm curious. I'm just curious, okay? I'm getting a little more adventurous every single day. Um, don't ask me why. Uh, oh, there's absolutely nothing here anyways. Adventure complete! Don't worry, we'll go on more adventures, do a little exploration. Let me know if you guys want to do a little bit more exploratory episodes. Just go off into the distance, into the wilderness, and see what kind of crazy stuff we can come up with. Maybe we can even go on a treasure hunt or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. But first off, let me figure out... Can, can you play... Okay, seriously. Your library's gone. What are you even doing standing here? Okay. Nice talk. What are you looking at, too? Okay. So, let me figure out how big we need this thing. <laughs> let, me, let me check out this uh, tutorial by my boy, Logical Geek Boy, and see uh, how much space we need right here. So, this is basically all the space I need. I need a 9x9 pod right here. So, we're going to waterlog the uh, block down here. We're going to have this as farmland. So, it's going to be all potatoes. It's going to be a little middle section. So, a little three gapper, three gapper right here. Uh, that's going to be a villager standing right here in the center. And then this part is going to be the same thing. So, farmland all the way around. Uh, waterlog block down there with a composter on top of here and a composter on top of there uh, I think I might elevate it by two more because in the middle is gonna be a collection system so um, you know I might elevate it actually by three have a tall base over here I don't know we'll, we'll see because we have to have an easy way to get to the middle uh, because there's where we're gonna have the chest and all that stuff so um, it's gonna be awesome but I'm gonna need more materials and uh, yeah let's go get some I'm gonna need some glass so let's go to the desert really quick Brownie! We need to go to the desert, my friend! Let's go! But first off, I gotta dump all this random junk from that house I exploded. I uh, hope the villager's not upset. Even if he is, what's he gonna do about it? The villagers can't fight. They can't even tell their iron guns to come and beat me up. They'll never beat me up, though. Unless there's a data pack for that. Is there a data pack for that? I don't even know. Brownie, I'll be right back. Let me dump some stuff and make it daytime. Oh, check out the riches pile right here. So I'm gonna make, uh, you know what? Let's make a really nice shovel right here. Why not? Can we use that? No, not on a shovel. That's weird if it, we did. Uh, man, we're gonna have to go on another diamond run coming up very, very soon. So yeah, let's make a quick shovel so we can do a lot of uh, sand mining. Now, I also have a little bit of leather and some paper so we can make a couple extra books. And five. Pretty good. Now let's head over to the enchanting watchtower and see if we can level this bad boy up. Uh, if not, we'll put a book on it. Oh man, I love this path. This area is turning out to be so nice. What do you guys think so far of the, uh, the whole aesthetic of this area? It's looking pretty cool. I love me a little woodland area like this. It's so cool. Oh, and also last minute I added this little uh, overlook area right here, which is pretty cool, right? This is a campfire blocks and trap doors so you can look down if there's any bad guys coming. Yeah, it's so cool. Enchanting Watchtower, how have you been? I know you can't talk, it's fine. Anything good here? Well, we can maybe throw an efficiency in there if uh, all else fails, but uh, let's see. Four lapis left. What a sad day. Uh, I'm breaking three. Ooh, I'm breaking three. Um, why would I get this one when I can get that one? I don't even know. Efficiency one. Ooh, we could do this one and add this one to it. Efficiency two, better than nothing, I guess. Or get more levels. And we don't have a way to get more levels right now unless we go mining for quartz in the nether. Hmm. Am I this dumb? Yep. I don't know why I'm doing this, but you know what? Let's do a little adventure in the nether. It wasn't a bad time last time, right? We have one of the most peaceful nether biomes out there. Why not just go there really quick? Uh, see if we see anything, right? Uh, and uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. In and out. It's an in and out situation. Don't you worry. We're not going to die. Not today. Uh, oh, I forgot to go uh, make a path up here. We'll make a path eventually. Into the nether we go. This is a dumb idea. My sword's about to die too. Oh, man. Let's go. Hello, nether. You are beautiful. Just as beautiful as I saw you last time. Uh, and guess what? We already have quartz there. What's that noise? That's my own feet. I'm fine. Um, all right, let's get some, uh, some quartz. We got some fortune on this bad boy too, right? We just got to be careful not to fall into any lava traps. And we'll be just fine. So we got those. Let's look around this way. We got gold right here. Let's look around. We're fine. There's no uh, piglins around here anyways, right? That's right. I don't have any gold on me. Uh, I just noticed that. So you know what? I sh Wait. Do I? No. Okay. Just in case. I got to bring my gold helmet. I don't know where I put it. Uh, all right. It's fine. Let's get some, uh, some more supplies. You know what? Level 15 already. So if anybody's ever asking anybody else in the sale. Oh, God. There's a hole there. That's fine. Um, if anybody wants to know what is the best and easiest way to get levels super early game and you have access to the nether, seriously, the best way, it's quartz mining. There is no other exception to the rule that is- Oh god! Listen, Enderman. 
this, this, there's nothing else. That is the best. There's enemy everywhere. I want to be your best friend. If I fight you right now, it's game over. I know it. So what do we need? We need 17 levels, right? I think that was it. If we get 17 levels, we can get uh, at least an unbreaking, right? So that'll be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for 30. I don't even think I have the, the willpower for that, but... Uh, we'll see. Let's put a torch down. Let's see, make sure we don't get lost. Make sure you don't look up also. There's Enderman around. I'm a little scared. That's fine. Of course, I saw you up here. Where are you hiding? There you are. Um, hold on. There you go. We're safe. Hopefully no stupid gas show up. There it is. We're already at 17 levels. Should we keep going? All right, I'm just going to keep uh, keep it going. Uh, you know, I, I feel a little lucky today. Also, I'm going to take some shroom lights. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh no! Help! 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 Send help! Everything's fine! What is that pig man doing in here? We're in the nice part of the world! I have to assassinate that man! We're fine. I was there minding my own business. I wasn't expecting any pig people to show up. And all of a sudden, I saw him. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes for two seconds. And then, uh, then I realized he was going to murder me. Oh, God. Oh, look at all that. Okay. I think I'm going to take my 17 levels and get out of this mess. How was he even there? Are those like nether waste areas? How did he get here? Somebody explain this to me. Did he crack some weird code? There's a gas there. He's looking right at me. All right. I'm good. I'm fine. Um, see you guys. Uh, see you guys on the other side. 17 levels is fine. That's all I needed anyways. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, Enderman, no. Just out of sheer curiosity, I'm just going to break a little bit down this direction. Let's see. Hopefully there's no lava pools. Any quartz? Extra quartz? Oh, my God. It just felt like there was something behind me. Sorry, I didn't want a horror movie um, slow turn into, like, the girl from the ring in the background or anything. I'm so sorry. All right. I don't see nothing here. I should shift no matter what, just in case. Oh, here it is. Don't push me, anybody. Oh, wow, that's like a... Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's do it. 17 whole levels. I got this. We got to get some more lapis. We're running out. So, right there, 17. I'm breaking three. With Fortune 1, that is actually not that bad. And then we can add this bad boy. Huh. Wait, where's my anvil? I think it's back home. All right, let's go. Make a daytime run, 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 run. There's my anvil. Let's do it. So, we're going to put this bad boy here. And we're going to put uh, this... Uh, thing thing here now. I need you guys right now in the comment section name this beautiful shovel and guess what? I forgot you guys probably named this pickaxe already. Let me look through the comments really fast But give me uh, something for the shovel hashtag shovel. Give me a good name. Let's go I found the name. This is the perfect name Thank you all so much though for all the awesome suggestions, but we got to pick this one and this is coming from my friend Butter boy. All right, I checked the comments of the last video and this one just stood out to me. I love it. Our first pickaxe here in our hardcore world is going to be called the chosen one. I love it. It is awesome. That is so cool. Plus, it almost reminds me of Obi-Wan when he told Anakin, you were the chosen one. Oh, and I got confirmation last episode. These two are just regular old golden apples. If it was the enchanted, the main one, it would literally say enchanted and it'll have a little glint on it of enchantment. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to keep some of these uh, in my hotbar and I'll eat them, you know, whenever I need to. Now, off into the desert and grab a bunch of sand because we're going to need it for this greenhouse. Let's go, Brownie. And yes, we're going to build that horse stable. Brownie, don't you dare start uh, hopping up and down. It's coming. Don't you worry. Your whole family's going to get something good out of it. Watch. Whee! Almost made it, Brownie. Almost made it. Brownie Sox is the best swimmer. Not the best jumper, though. Oh, there we go. Don't get. All right, I think this is just a good spot over here. We can just take a little bit off the top, right? Like we're doing a little bit of haircutting or something. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take some of these. I'll be right back with you guys. And we're going to be building this lovely old greenhouse. I got such a good idea. Oh, baby. All right, I think six stacks is more than enough. Um, and let me get rid of this one because I don't want it. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's go smoke this thing. Bunny! Thank you, Brownie. I'll be back soon, all right? You're the best. This is taking so long! Uh. All right, let's get this started. We got all the villagers ready to go. Well, you guys uh, want to see a nice greenhouse pop up any second now? All right, get ready. Uh, Brownie, um, entertain them while I set stuff up high. How you doing? All right, so this is the part of the video that I'm going to follow tutorial. It's by my boy, Logical Geek Boy. So I'm going to put a link in the description if you guys want to build this thing in your world, block for block. It is a super easy either carrot or potato crop farm. It is amazing. It does so much work. It's going to be great. So uh, go to his video, click it, put sausage 
loves you in the comment section in his video and let him know that we love his face and uh sub to our boy because yeah he's making some easy and awesome redstone tutorials so i'm gonna set this part up and i'll bring you guys back for the building of the greenhouse so far so good everything is looking awesome i have this thing kind of already almost set up i just gotta get this stupid villager here that kind of trapped in here and put him in this little spot and then he's kind of sealed off from this side so he can't cross and he's gonna be happy uh, i think he's gonna be stuck right here forever uh but it's fine nothing to see here everything's okay uh, i just need to push him <laughs> i don't have any rails on me i don't have any rails um i should have just got some rails i got from the mine shaft oh come on i just have to get that guy in that hole please come on you want to go in you want to go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you stupid. You're so stupid. Uh, that, that's not how it goes. Um, But that's fine for now, I guess. No, get back. Get back. You're stuck in there, stupid. Get back. Um, I got to... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need this... Fa I need a fence. I need a fence. I need to put this fence over here. Uh, I fell in here with him. There we... Don't move. Don't move. Don't you move. That goes here. And then this goes right there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I just panicked and put some stuff on the floor it's fine all right so he is stuck in here uh then underneath these oh uh, did i make a mistake no i need to put a hopper underneath that one a hopper underneath that one. Oh, i need to make hoppers okay i got some iron i can go back and get those but for right now this looks pretty good i just need to waterlog that bad boy uh like that and then i gotta put a composer on top which i could easily get one from right over here and transport these guys they'll probably just follow right let's see um come Come, I'm gonna put your composter in here. Please come in. Composter right here. Come on down. Oh, there he comes. Oh, you sweet, sweet boy. Get in here. This is a new job station. Thank you. Oh, you're beautiful. Look at that. All right, seal them up and let me add the potatoes and do the same thing on the other side. The farm is doing its job, I think. Uh, everything is growing up. I'm thinking we might have one or two bits of uh, potato there already, I'm thinking. Uh, every time that any of these get ready to harvest, the farmer villager grabs those bad boys and then throws it to this sweet man over here. He doesn't catch it because of the trap door and the fence and it goes into that hopper. The hopper goes into those uh, those chests over there. I got double chests with a little bit of uh, Room light on the bottom there it's almost like a little bit of a dip down right there uh and i gotta figure out how to get in uh it's still a work in progress but i'm working on the structure itself right now uh and it's looking pretty cool so what i'm having over here is some beams that kind of go uh in a little bit of a border right here on the side so these are going up with a trap door right here of dark oak and then i have a spruce one on the top here then we have a lining right here on the side this one has a trap door and then this one has a slab up here we have a full block and this is looking pretty cool i like this design it's a little bit different from the one uh well i've done a couple of greenhouses some really cool ones in the past but this one is actually pretty good i like this one a lot it's a little different compared to the last ones but uh i'm winging it and see if it comes out all right so right here we have this nice little trim going so uh, in the middle let's see if i can parkour here and lift yes i can so this is looking pretty cool because how we have this it's uh it goes from a one block gap to another one block to another one and then this goes two and then one on the top so it gives us almost like a little bit of a farmhouse like feel to this greenhouse it looks really cool only thing i have to figure out is how to transition in the middle not sure yet but it's okay we're parkouring uh everything's fine uh and then i just have to repeat this little design to work over here oh i just noticed i messed up over here hold on i gotta break this i don't have silk touch it's fine there it is that's fine uh i gotta get more glass we definitely ran out but that's fine we'll, we'll get to one a little bit but this right here let's put a little place on the block this kind of goes down this direction i messed up that that's fine uh so this one goes kind of down i might just continue this line here or we might make a little bit of an archway there i'm not 100 percent sure yet but as far as this roofage right here it is not that hard so this goes straight down and it goes down all the way to the end right here and then once we get on this side it goes into an upside down stair we go with a full block and then we go with a stair here upside down stair right here stair going down another upside down stair and then here we go slab so it's one slab up double slab here and a double slab right there so we got just half slabs of detail on these little pop-out logs on this side and then we just repeat that one over here check this out this is looking so good i need to detail this a little bit more by adding uh just a little bit of stone maybe some andesite i need to make some different stair variants here so it's not just cobble uh and i like that look at this thing i want to add maybe a little pop-out log there with like a hanging light with a chain 
that might look pretty cool as well. And then over here, we got these cool little uh, under bits of detail with slabs and trap doors going around to the side, which looks so, so good. Now, we also have a dip down. Check this stairwell, right? Isn't that cool? So we just go down here. Uh, I'm thinking I might move this stair one back. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to move this stair one back. But this drops down, boom, into this part. And then we got all of our chest over here. And then this goes back the other way. I got to add another door there, which is fine. Yeah, I'm going to push these stairs back one more. So it'll be a little bit of a better transition. That is looking good. But I got to come back here and do a little bit of texturing. And I think we got it. I think we got ourselves a really cool little trader's greenhouse. Is that a cat? Did I just hear a cat? Hello? Did I hear a kitty cat? That's a cow. <laughs> Pig, did you hear a cat? Or was that you? Ignore me. That's rude. Nope, there was no cats. Okay, uh, keep my eyes and ears open. I'm putting some last minute finishing touches here and it's looking so good. So on the inside, instead of having those torches that I had in the corner bits, I started adding some of these fences with the chains and some lanterns hanging down. So that whole inside is completely illuminated. It looks so cool on the corners. Also added a lantern there in the center. Then I repeated it over here on this side. Started adding some path blocks over here and also some coarse dirt, a little bit of bush, a little bit of berries. Uh, and it's looking good. The only thing that I'm needing is some pod soul so i really need some silk touch so it's looking awesome and then down here we got the dip down uh and i'm gonna add extra chests over here for storage so i did recess these in these are stairs over here so these could be open on this side and this looks so good just like that i got a little plant over here on this side and a ladder to get up to the top uh this side is looking good we got these little covers uh right here a little ceiling bit uh and then up here i can afk and just hang out here while they do some business and let's see if we see anything happen right there okay I want to see this work in real time. Let's show the people. Drop this boy some uh, some potatoes, please. Okay, come on down. He needs some. He's hungry. Look how hungry this man is, please. There it goes. There it is. There it is. There it is. And throw potatoes. Throw it to him. No. Why? Stop being lazy. Give this man potatoes. There it comes. All right. I just saw it happen. It just happened one second ago. They're just pretty slow. They don't give him food all that often, which is pretty messed up. But uh, well, check this out. We got some stuff. It's been working. And since I've been starting it up, we have that much right there, which is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here a little bit. Let's wait maybe like an hour. Let's see how much more we get up here. Uh, and uh, we can do a little bit of trading with that. That's going to be awesome. Also, another thing that I did, I added these gates here so I could technically just go in whenever I want and trade with these guys because technically they're potato farmers see this guy got the potatoes and then also this guy right over here has also don't run away potatoes so we can literally trade with them as well with the same potatoes that they're using for this guy which is awesome so yeah i'm gonna hang out here for a little while and see how many potatoes we can get all right, it's been working. I, I've been here for like 30 minutes, so they've been throwing some stuff back and forth, and it's been doing its job, so I am happy. I think this should be good enough. Oh, that's perfectly fine for right now. We just gotta go ahead and just do a big old AFK session overnight, if anything. Only thing that's gonna be kind of dangerous is out here. Uh, I'm not gonna be sleeping, so uh, mobs will spawn all the way around here. So that's gonna be a problem, but it's okay. If anything, you know, we just re-log, and I think it should uh, wipe everything from existence, right? <laughs> this is so cool. What do you guys think of our greenhouse? Oh, we're gonna be so rich. Oh, let's just see how many emeralds I can get. Oh, ha ha! Yeah, I love it when you say, Ha ha! You sound like Mario! Be strong in there, my friend! Be strong! He just wants more food. Give us some more food over here! But this has been such a fun episode. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I got so many other ideas. We can start our villager trading hall. We can start a little library for all the librarians so we can get all awesome books lined up. We can also jump back over to our area back there and start doing other things like adding a fishing hut. I'm going to need a lot of fish so I can get a lot of kitty cats. I know there's going to be cats running around here. Uh, eventually, we're going to need some creeper repellent. Do you want to go off on an adventure? Maybe look for some buried treasure. Look for other ruins and stuff like that. I'm so excited though let me know what you guys want to see next but for right now i am out of here thank you so much for watching catch you guys on the next episode goodbye